Ashley Anderson from AA Horsemanship. Since it's show season, um, it's kind of already started, but um, there's still shows going on. I wanted to do a video about what I do to prepare my horses for it, and particularly the light colored horses. So your buckskins, your grays, your paints, basically anything where mud shows up really easily is kind of what I wanted to do. Because a lot of people are like, wow, you make your horse look so white. Like, how do you do that? So basically, I'm going to go over what I kind of pack. So this is my show gear, and uh, what's in it is I keep a flathead all the time because if your ride breaks or something, you need that. Um, spare screws are in here. I have a sock. This can be like, a, I make my own tail bags because why waste your money when you have old socks laying around? Um, so tail bag, I use it to clean their faces off, um, their nose. If I need to spray them down, I wipe it a little bit, you know, um, fly spray, anything. The tail bags come in handy, and I actually have two in here. The more the better and I just tie them to the top or just leave them in the box thing there because um, they just come in handy I have bands so um, I have brown ones because I had a brown horse um, a dark colored main horse and um, they have white they have different colors browns just easy um, shoe polish with um, make sure you have this to clean your boots off um, it's always good another quick easy thing that your sock would do you handy just clean your boots off real quick um, show sheen or cowboy magic, get the tangles out, always keep a um, leather puncher because like I said you never know if you might need it. Um, there's been times where people, I've had friends that shown or I've shown in my tack, like, boom, breaks or hey I need to switch out horses real quick and can I borrow your halter, it doesn't fit, leather puncher. Okay. Um, I know this is bathing, but with my grays, I use this purple shampoo. You can get this at Tractor Supply. I think it's like 20 bucks. Um, it's a big bottle. It's called White and Bright. Um, there's different color, the different ones. There's a smaller bottle that has like blue shampoo. Purple and blue shampoo are your best friends. Get out of my space. She's here for disrespect. <laughs> Anyways, I also keep some um, fly spray. This is just one of the brands I use, uh, Piranha. It seems to work the best. And I have the spray kind and the can kind. I don't really see a difference in it. Um, you know, if you have an idea for a fly spray that looks for you, post it below. Let others know. And then I always keep sunscreen. One, it's good for your horse if they have skin um, showing. And two, you need to stay, always have sunscreen on you. So I always have sunscreen. I have one in my trailer. I have one in my green box. I have one in my showing box because it's important to keep your skin beautiful and not sunburnt. Another thing I did is I have like spur straps in here just in case, um, scissors just in case you need those. Um, grooming wise, this is really nasty to clean it, but um, sweat scraper. And um, I also keep my sponge that needs to be cleaned as well for my hat because you don't want any like fuzzies or anything on your hat. Um, I never really brush my horse's mane, but just in case I keep a brush in there high gloss finishing spray. This is like bay. This is my number one thing that I use on all of my horses. It just has a really nice finish at the end of it and um, it has a really awesome smell to it and it just it pops out your horse's muscles really really well and it just I put it on all my training horses, show horses, um, sale horses, really any horse that I want to show off I put this on because it's just that awesome. Baby powder for any horses that have stockings, um, stockings stockings or socks anything like that um, maybe like a blaze here that needs to be wider baby powder is your go-to in addition to all of that I also keep um, touch up so they actually have spray paint for horses so um, this is from Shapely's and this is the white one um, they have different colors I have noticed that don't just buy these and think that they're gonna match your horse's color um, it's important to do it <laughs> ways before your horse show because like I bought a chestnut once because I had a chestnut and it turned out looking more like a bay horse and so she had like little spots all over her and that happened this week over the weekend as well with one of my students um unfortunately I forgot to tell them in time but um they sell that they have blacks but like I said white pretty much you know every horse is white it'll help you especially if you do this um preparation that I'm about to show you but um, make sure the color matches your horse because you don't want it to look like you have an Appaloosa. 
not be good. Um, I also keep a hoof pick in here and like I said, extra stuff in my bridle, um, extra leather, some important things to have it in a brush. So that's kind of what I keep in my show kit. I don't just have this. This I take everywhere with me. So before I go showing, I walk up, I put it at the gate or somewhere out of the way, out of everybody else's way. And that way I can just do quick touch-ups, you know, like let's say, you know, at me as a trainer, I do this all the time when I'm a trainer. I have my student here and I'll get to their horse and I'll clean their nose out or I'll wipe their eyes, you know. She's not used to that, so she's kind of freaking out. But that's kind of what I do. And I'll make sure that there's no lines. You know, I showed one horse once and I, the flies were so bad and so I like started spraying her well it made a streak down here and then I like petted her and the oils on my hand got all over her so I had like handprints on my horse and it was like two seconds before I went in so I always have my handy you know you can be fancy and it really doesn't matter I just I'm cheap socks socks work so anyways let's go ahead and get started on getting your horse clean so before I screwed it all up this was her before so as you can tell her mane's kind of died um, she's got stains on her legs, stains on her back, um, stains on her butt, stains on her tail, all over it. Look at that nastiness. Okay. And I haven't taught this horse how to bathe, so um, I'm going to have to teach her how to get her face wet. I don't recommend putting that purple shampoo on their face, especially because it'll get in their eyes. So you want to have like baby shampoo or like tear-free shampoo to get there. Um, and that's where your spray paint and baby powder come in handy. Some horses aren't going to freak out, but I'd hate for me to like put shirtle shampoo and it get in their eyes. Like you don't want it to be a bad experience for them. And for the tail, I do something different. Um, you can't always just soak it down and rub it with this stuff. That works perfectly. But a cool trick is if you get a bucket and fill it with water. Get it soaked. So I just need to get the water out. Okay, so I realized it stopped recording. So what I did that you missed is I used my curry comb and I used my shampoo and I just basically put it down her body and scrubbed it with the curry comb. And um, it recommends that you put it in the bucket. I don't and this is how I'm showing you how I do it. So if you want to do that, that's totally cool. Do it if you did it. Put in your comments how it worked out. If it worked out better, cool, awesome. I've been doing this for years, so I just, it works. Um, so yeah, so apparently I have limited space on my phone right now, so I'm gonna hurry up. But once you get it on the body, um, I ignored the legs and the tail and the face, mainly because you can get that later, focusing on the top line, so your withers, back, neck, and hindquarters. Um, so yeah, so you're gonna wait five minutes and then come back. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. I just wanna kinda show you what it looks like. Um, so you can kind of see some of that mud there. Get her legs, I'm not going to zoom in on that. Um, some of it's still purple. Don't worry, this doesn't turn your horse purple. And yeah, as you can see, like her mane right there is white. But the other side, so as I was saying, the purple isn't going to hurt black manes. Um, and like I said, there is a shampoo out there that is specifically for blacks and bays. So um, check that out if you have one of those. Now I'm just going to hose her off. Do this really quick. Stop it there because I don't have much space on my phone. Uh, I are off. This is kind of what it looks like. Um, as you can see, there's not really much dirt spots anymore. That mark is gone. She's pretty gray now. So now I'm going to work on her legs. For videoing purposes, I'm not going to video me doing this, but basically what I'm going to do is the same thing. But I'm going to use my hands or like a sponge and um, scrub down and I'll wait for five minutes. Same thing with the tail. Scrub it and all right, for phone purposes, because apparently my treasure died. Lovely, it's one thing after another, right? This is her after her bath. Um, as you can see, her tail was a big one that was being a pain in the butt. Easy. As you can see, it's not white just yet. Um, typically, I wash their tail three times, and I let it sit for ten minutes each time. I don't have time for that because my phone's dying, and two, she's not going to a show tomorrow, so I'm not really going to make it that great. But I'll show you some tricks that you can do once your horse dries 
with the spray paint and then what I kind of do after that. So I'm going to go ahead and use my squeegee, my sweat scraper, whatever you want to call it, and get some of this to dry. The most time she's dry, she's being impatient. Typically I would not do this to this kind of horse because she's not ready for showing, obviously because she can't even stand patient at the pole. Um, I'm not going to worry about that too, too much right now because I'm just doing it basically because she's the only gray horse I have right now. But she's pretty dry, so I'm going to go ahead and get my spray paint after her. One thing I forgot is while they're drying, I put Cowboy Magic or Shoshin in their mane and tail and just kind of rub it in. And yeah. So she's getting extremely impatient. Like I said, typically I would not use this horse for a show because um, she hasn't really learned much manners. But um, I went ahead and just put baby powder in it. As you can tell, it's a little bit wider. Usually I would spray it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to stand behind her butt too long with her dancing off like this and being disrespectful. So, okay, so she's moving around a lot, so I went ahead and tied her up to a tree. Um, like I said, she got here for a long time. She came here to learn how to be caught. Used her for this video because she is a gray. Um, here's her tail. It's not perfect because she was moving around a lot. This is just with two bathes, 10 minutes at each part. Um, and I put a little bit of baby powder in there. Usually I would use spray paint, but I'm done messing with her. She's going to go in training now for not standing still. So, um, yeah, this is kind of the finished product with that shampoo. Then I would go back with the cuts and everything and use the white spray. And, of course, remember to always go back and do anything that um, you missed. Any spots that are on there, you would go back on and so on. So thank you all so much for watching.